A picture speaks a thousand words. I'm Khalid Mahmood Atta with DAC TV's presentation of Toronto Buzz. And with me are two fabulous uh, individuals, uh, very artsy individuals today as well. Uh, I welcome you to the show, Ms. Anu Vittal and Ms. Uh, Olga Pankova. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So today, today we're going to be talking about art and yourself and um, you know, your career as an artist. Let's start with you, Anu. What, uh, you have a very prolific profile, um, business profile, art profile. So if I ask you, who is Anu Vittal, uh, what would you say? I would say Anu Vittal is uh, an entrepreneur, a visual artist who has a real passion to tell a story of humanity and to create a legacy so that our generations for forward can enjoy something of beauty. And I've always believed when the times of Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo can create so many beautiful things. And today we live in a very um, instant gratification world which is very dynamic with technology evolving. These things of beauty which is art related will stay forever in people's hearts. Sure, that's great. Uh, talking about technology and art combined together, we have a, a very profound uh, artist with us. Uh, Olga is a, a realistic, um, or she, is, she performs real art, uh, which she's going to explain uh, what form of art she does and how does she use technology. Olga? Thank you. Uh, so I always used to paint like a portraits. I love people. I have to capture their emotions and their soul on the canvas. It's very interesting to do. And um, lately I started to do uh, live performances, live art performances. So it's about five years, uh, I guess. Um, I paint live at the weddings and the corporate events. So I capture whatever happening on the event on the canvas, capture the first wedding dance, uh, the ceremony moment. Uh, so really cool um, things happening on the canvas while sure. people can watch me doing this. And lately I started to, I'm actually one of the first uh, worldwide artists who is painting uh, with the virtual reality, um, in virtual reality. And people can watch my creations uh, to be created on the big screen. Right. So it's really interesting way of combining uh, technology and art. And I think it's really um, innovative and uh, entertaining. Sure. Now we're going to talk to you about uh, your pieces of art, especially this one here. Uh, a little more description of what this is. Uh, anu, uh, from an artist's perspective, um, it, how important is technology? I think it's critical. I think it's important, like Olga said, to be able to show off a creation. And I think what she's doing is so commendable but also to be able to carry that message forward through either through social media or to be able to sell your work better. And today, more and more, we're seeing that uh, as much as art galleries are necessary and important for people to go in and see the art, and so are museums, uh, because of a lack of time or people being more connected to their iPhones or their phones, they want to be able to see it whenever they're able to have a few moments, whether it's driving, not necessarily while you're actually driving, but sitting in the passenger seat or on the train. A lot of people uh, want to be able to be connected. People are connecting to art. They want to see it to be while it to be uh, while it's being created. Mm -hmm. okay. They want to be witness of the process sure. because not really lots of people have a relatives who is an artist and they can come to their studio and watch it. Uh, so nowadays, it's more popular to have a art artists uh, to entertain people, to show the process, to show um, this uh, beautiful creation moment sure. in front of people so they can see the process and they can enjoy and uh, they really appreciate it. And I think for all of us artists who is brave enough to go there and to show yeah. their abilities, I think it's a great uh, opportunity to showcase and to advertise themselves, right. uh, to show what you're about. Now, is it, you said the word brave very bravely because mm -hmm. uh, the word brave is the, is the exact word that should be used for you because uh, drawing from a picture or drawing from a drawing or uh, a concept that's already been created, um, you know, it's easy, but when there's motion around you, when there's people around you, when there's moments that you have to capture, it takes a lot of imagination, right? Uh, anu, what do, you, what do you have to say about that? that isn't that brave, though, what she yeah, does? I think it's amazing that she's come up with such an innovative concept. I always admire artists. I encourage them to be able to showcase their talent in unique ways. It's a great way to market yourself, and I always say you can have the most beautiful thing in the world, but if you don't know how to show it off, no one's going to know about it. And I think that she's doing a great job. And again, at the same time, like you said, it's uh, important to involve people in the creation process. Whether it's a musician or a dancer, they do feel the energy of the people around them. 
and to be able to incorporate them, incorporate that energy and make your piece special and unique is indeed a brave thing and I think it's a very special thing. Sure, now how would you rate your own uh, artwork? How, what, what kind of artist are you? I'm an abstract expressionist and uh, my favorite artist is uh, Kandinsky. Uh, so when we talk about an abstract ex uh, expressionist like myself, we're really about expressing uh, people's thoughts, emotions and feelings and that's what we paint. But in order to paint them, we have to feel them. And sometimes when I do a commission, my client will just give me one sentence to paint. Wow. And I remember I created a, a beautiful, um, large abstract piece for a movie star couple, and I won't say who they are, but they're famous, and they gave me one sentence. They said, uh, two stars colliding in harmony. And I oh thought my to God. myself, colliding and harmony are two words completely on the opposite <laughs> side of the spectrum. Oh, that's a challenge. Here. But then when I did some more research, I found that when a, a supernova uh, is formed in the universe, it actually creates the element gold. So beautiful things can happen in nature and that can be transformed into creation process. Ladies and gentlemen, we're with the two very talented uh, artists uh, and we'll take a short break here and we'll see some of Anu's work and we'll come back with these two fabulous artists. Welcome back to Toronto Buzz. I'm Khaled Mahmoud Atta and with me are two extravagant uh, art uh, uh, enthusiasts as well as uh, fans as well as artists themselves. Uh, I I'm short of words actually. I I'm so inspired by the work that both these fabulous ladies have uh, put forward. Uh, let's go back to Olga and talk to her about uh, a little bit more about her um, the fascinating work that you do in terms of technology as well. You, you put together shows where you're, you exhibit uh, your presentations on the wide big screens and uh, you know you do a lot of that technology oriented stuff as well tell us a little bit about that yeah so um, of course as an artist I have to uh, spend all my uh, time to be able to create something really uh, cool for my cl uh, for my client if they want to hire me for uh, delivering their brand message uh, so I'm trying to incorporate uh, technology and to be creative and at the same time to deliver a specific information what they want uh, sure. to be shown. And um, I have a, I need to say, I have a helper. Uh, he is a geek person who is helping <laughs> me to, <laughs> to, to manipulate all the technology and yes. it's uh, very innovative. So um, uh, more and more companies are looking to deliver information about their brand in a different way. Sure. And uh, because art is very uh, trending right now, I think it's uh, very appropriate uh, to show with the artistic abilities uh, specific information to deliver it so because yeah. people are very visual even my clients when they come to me uh, it's very hard to explain them sometimes what kind of uh, composition you want to deliver to them so I do for them a sketch with the proper colors because sure. for people it's important to see the color and the composition all at once so uh, that's what I do I create a uh, uh, the brand message, I create a particular message for people a little bit in advance to show them a really um, uh, informative um, a composition. Sure. And then, of course, I do create a life in front of them so they can see it's, it's a magical project, a pro process uh, like uh, creating uh, art in the virtual reality. It's mostly like a sculpting with right. the colors, with dish, uh, different, uh, uh, different um, uh, brushes and uh, different abilities of the brushes. Some of them are even moving and it's uh, absolutely mesmerizing and uh, um, amazing to see all 
what you create in the virtual reality to appear on the screen. And uh, now we're working on something uh, like to incorporate uh, um, people to be able to enter my virtual reality world and to experience, uh, to see my creations through my eyes. Oh, that's great. Now, um, uh, talking about companies and talking about brands and uh, how important is the business of art? Like what, oh, and you are uh, in business, you are an entrepreneur and you are an artist. <laughs> So how important is it for an artist to promote themselves I think in it's business? Yeah. It's very critical and it's nice that Olga has someone to guide and yes. help her in this direction. A lot of times, and especially when I was at the Arts Council, this was my ultimate goal. Artists are entrepreneurs and uh, they're not necessarily always having the business edge, but it's important to incorporate that so that you're able to be able to get it across as a message, but also to make it successful. Right. And today art is contributing in Canada 8% to the GDP. 8% translates to 1.1 million jobs. And that's the sum total of all the jobs in the uh, Canadian armed forces, mining, forestry, and fishing. Oh, really? wow. So the creative industries contributes a lot. And I think from a business perspective, if you look at the uh, top 10 items auctioned in the world according to Time magazine, they're all related to the arts, except the last two, which was, I think one was a car and the other was a baseball autographed by someone famous. Sure. So business of art is a billion dollar business. It's a growing business all across the world. You'll see it a lot now, even in countries like India, uh, where the economy um, has developed in such a way that the middle class has the purchasing power to be able to go out and see different things in the world and buy contemporary pieces for their sure. homes. Uh, but the business of art is actually not just important from an economic perspective, but also from an eco-cultural balance. It's a connector, it brings people together, it brings cultures together, and a more harmonious community is always much more fundamentally, I guess, um, important to be able to bring people into a happy space, and sure. that happy space re sure. leads to abundance. Sure. That's a very well put together answer uh, and couldn't have been said better. Now, talking about art and its fusion with other aspects uh, of our life, including business, um, have you ever encountered uh, live performances and people dancing and then you create an art form out of it? Have you done that, Olga? For sure. <laughs> that's okay. what Tell I us do. a little bit about that. <laughs> that's what I uh, yes. usually yes. do at the weddings. I sure. perform a lot at the weddings. I and I, uh, what I love uh, about my job, and uh, I consider it as, as a pleasure. It's not really a job. It's me having uh, fun, enjoying uh, my day, my time, because I'm always witnessing uh, the happiest moment of their lifetime. And it's you're a wedding. It. It's a big right. day of their life, sure. and uh, everybody's so happy and so enthusiastic about this. And uh, I am able to capture lots of different cultures because each culture have a different traditions different colors it's uh, absolutely amazing to be a witness um, and uh, it's a honor to be uh, able to capture their big day of their life their memories on the canvas sure. of course I'm capturing uh, like a very cool moments like a, um, a ring exchange moment right. so it's only happening for a few seconds but this is the biggest seconds in your life and I'm able to capture it on the canvas or right. they're dancing, they're having uh, the blast party and I want to be able to capture this on the canvas. Awesome. It's a really cool idea to entertain people and at the same time to have this uh, beautiful memories. Right. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Olga spoke very, um, very interestingly about her art pieces and the work that she does. Uh, let's go and have a look at some of her work, uh, especially the work that we're talking about, those uh, uh, moments. Let's capture those moments on camera.
You're watching Toronto Buzz and you know who I am. I'm your host Khaled Namugata with these two fabulous ladies, Anu and Olga. Welcome to the show again. Um, Anu, I'm, I'm, I was fascinated by the concept of, uh, you know, uh, she creating art in a live environment. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You've created fashion art. You've created, uh, you know, modern art in different forms. Uh, can, can we uh, hear a little bit about your variations that you've worked on in, in terms of art forms? Well, I uh, basically work on canvas acrylic, but large pieces. They're usually anywhere between 40 feet by 8 feet, and wow. they can go as uh, small as the client wants. But mm -hmm. mainly when I create, it's really an expression, so it, I don't let it control me. I let the canvas flow with me, and the art really flow onto the canvas. But over the years, I've noticed doing shows across different parts of the world, uh, we now have something called an affair with art. Sure. And we have six senses. We need to have all those touch, taste, sight, sound come alive and find the inner child. So whenever we've done an art affair, it's a pop-up gallery. It happens as an event. Okay. There's usually a local artist and either myself, but we also incorporate different disciplines like music, dance, sure. uh, cuisine, yeah. and so on into the whole concept. So those two art forms come together to create a very beautiful expression that people can actually kind of connect with. It's almost like a scintillating sense of enjoyment that they experience and they don't know what it is but it mm -hmm. is the fact of creation and being a part of it. Sure. So along with that process I developed my brand Anua Art Apparel because right. I found that as much as people love art sometimes they run out, run out of space on their walls and my friends would say to me we love your art but we don't have any wall space why don't you make something out of it that we can have in our home still. So I started creating uh, scarves nice. and stoles and for That's men I do ties yeah. and pocket squares mm -hmm. and I also created uh, unique candle stands that sure. we give away as promotional product for um, corporate uh, clients sure. and uh, hospitality so we do work for hotels okay. and resorts. Awesome. Now if you have a website that you want to share with the audience you feel free to uh, give away the website address. So please visit my website it is www.anaffairwithart.com and uh, please view the paintings and come to our events. Sure, now uh, Olga, you as well, if you have a, a website that you wanted to talk to people through, uh, please give it away. <laughs> yes, I, I, um, all my work where I work with the live uh, events, it's on uh, lifeeventartist.ca and um, uh, olgasart.com. Uh, so sure. these two websites are most... Uh, Great. Now uh, talking about, um, she was talking a little bit about uh, different forms in which uh, uh, she she does art. Now, how about yourself? Uh, we know that uh, you do uh, live art. Uh, in addition to that, you, you've done something like this, uh, which is probably out of a picture or something. Uh, so, tell us a little bit about your different variations that you do in your art. Yeah, I, I was painting portraits all the time, right. uh, human portraits, and okay. um, it's very easy nowadays because we have a high resolution cameras, so people don't need to pose in front of the artist for hours and hours. So I make it more affordable and easy for my clients. They can take a beautiful photo, create their own composition, send the photo to me, and then I'll work with the photo and do a little bit of my own interpretation uh, of original uh, beautiful art piece for them sure. to, to remember for a ages. And then, of course, I love animals. Uh, my love uh, for animals is shown on my lots of uh, artworks. Uh, I have a, a beautiful series of uh, animals in the winter, uh, winter Winter animals surviving nice. in the brutal weather, especially <laughs> Canadian weather. <laughs> yeah, so I love snow, the way right. how it's uh, falling down and uh, uh, the life is still going on and uh, the, the beautiful animals surviving. Uh, but uh, I want to capture the nature and the beauty of it on my canvases. Sure. That's why I have uh, lots of um, um, animals captured sure. on my paintings. Now, any future events coming up right away? Anything you wanted to share? I'm going to be participating at the Royal Winter Fair, so everybody who loves uh, animals and uh, want to have an adventure day with the family, please, uh, you're welcome at my booth, I'll be um, at the, with the Artist Valley, so please come over and uh, I would love to share with sure. you my beautiful artworks. Sure, and uh, Anu, yourself, any uh, events coming up? Well, the next uh, events coming up are in India, and mm -hmm. that's going to be at the High Commissioner of uh, Canadian High Commissioner's residence in uh, New Delhi, and nice. then on the 10th of February in Mumbai, in Mukesh Mills, and that's another affair with art. Okay, now talking about events, we do have another 
event coming up in November, November 27th, and both these fabulous artists will be involved uh, in that event as well. Uh, so check it, out, check it out, uh, November 27th, the event is called Unplugged. Um, talking about events, like you like going to events and performing? Of course you do. I love going to <laughs> events. <laughs> what's, I the love <laughs> what's the biggest event that you've been to? I, I heard that uh, there's a huge event coming in downtown and you're, you're part of that event. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm usually participating with, uh, like, for example, but especially lately with the, the virtual reality performances. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the biggest so far was about 600 people, nice. and um, it's with virtual reality. And I also uh, involve in, um, uh, like, a corporate events. Uh, I like to involve people into my artwork, and actually one of the uh, uh, involving pieces was uh, uh, involving uh, 2,000 people, in, they was participating in my painting, so right. they was a part of it, they was uh, um, painting with me, and sure. it was amazing wow. uh, piece created by 2,000 people and me together. Right. So I think it's important to, uh, to, for people to, par to be able to participate in the art process. Right. And um, another event I'm going to is going to be uh, the Artist Project. I have a booth there too, it's in February. Okay. It's uh, four beautiful days and uh, I'll be surrounded by art community, artist community, and uh, I'll be creating a really cool series for uh, the particular project. Another project will be in um, uh, in December. I'm actually flying to France, and it's a beautiful show. It's a technology show, and they invite me to participate and to show my creations, artistic creations with right. uh, uh, technology solutions. Sure. sure. Now, uh, as a business, that's an uh, unbelievably amazing. Now, uh, Anu, as 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 your future, what is your future? What does your future entail right now? What do you see foresee? for yourself as a bu business entrepreneur as well as an artist? Well, art is a passion and yes. it's a business that's uh, kind of grown from that passion. So that's a continuous process and that will not change. But I also am very keen on helping other artists uh, become more successful as entrepreneurs. Right. And uh, as a successful entrepreneur, I find that uh, as long as you mentor them in the right direction and they have the skills and the tools and the technology, they can actually find their right. own way forward. But I think it's critical because we are creating in the future a generation that is so much more about life, about things that they want to do for their own passion, but also want to give back to community. And so as we go into the new age of the millennials and to see the direction that they take, this is really something critical in bringing in to the business world passion and art, and it really touches yes. people's hearts. The fact of the matter remains that everywhere in the world today, art is a, as important a subject as math or science. Everyone in every country in the world paints, sings, and then when you grow up, you tend to forget it. Sure. When you go into higher levels of studies or business. I want people to realize that not forgetting that part of them, finding ways to express themselves through that, whether it's photography or cooking a simple meal or taking a selfie <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> or putting on makeup. Everything you do from nothing is art. Sure. So I want people to continue to be able to express that and that's the message that I will uh, sort of give in community sure. when I do my public speaking and meeting other people that keep doing that, keep right. encouraging others and young people to follow that passion. Right, thank you so much. Now, I hope this message resonates with you as well, Olga. Do you have a message for somebody who is uh, an aspiring artist who wants to become Olga in the future? Do you have a message for them? I think uh, all of us, uh, all people have a different talent and uh, it doesn't matter if you have a talent for art or not. I if you want to become an artist and if you want to succeed and uh, if you want your art to be seen, then you have to be working hard on it. You have to be able to show your art to other people. Don't be shy. Uh, to present your art and uh, be creative. Nowadays, sure. looking uh, people and um, all people looking for creativity, they're too tired to see same thing over, over, and over. Mm -hmm. If you are yeah. creative, don't be afraid to bring your creativity and to show it to the world. Share it with others. Be creative. Get the group together. Show your art. Involve other people to your art in, into the process. That's what I'm, uh, I'm. I really love what I'm doing because uh, all the big weddings, for example, if I go, there is like 800 people, or corporate events, 2,000 people, 600 people. They all involved for this 
short amount of time which is giving to me, I have their attention. Right. I have their involvement, their feelings towards me and towards my art. I want to sure. share to share my passion with the rest of the world. Right. If I am able to do this with the five people uh, um, watching me or 1,000 people watching me, it's always a pleasure. Or sure. even if I paint it at home, but I want to show my artwork to others. Perfect. Uh, passion is everything. Very well put. Any final message, uh, Anu? Well, I think she's said a beautiful thing, and mm -hmm. I want to end with uh, my favorite quote from Picasso. Yep. The meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose of life is to give it away. So sure. How about you, Olga? Anything, final thoughts? I totally agree. I think we should find the inspiration from every day we're living. And uh, I think art is everywhere. It's in the air. Art is love. Art is food. Art is our clothes. Art is our kids and our families. The biggest art is our love for our close ones and uh, love for other people. So I wish everybody to be more patient and uh, loving and uh, more open-minded and creative. So get your inspiration from the day to day. Sure, that, with that fabulous thought, uh, we wrap it up here at the TAG TV studios. Uh, you are watching uh, TAG TV's presentation of Toronto Buzz. See you again next time. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.